Oaxaca de Juárez, México. A city equally balanced in natural beauty, vibrant culture, and ancient tradition. Bike Sports Rides Oaxaca. What brings our weary travelers to the streets of southern Mexico? Mezcal, mole, and their MV Max. Ready? Take one. Thousands of kilometers of rural roads connect and intersect the hills and pueblos of the Sierra Norte. Gravel, cabos, terraceria, and mucho matters of climbing await our international bicycle tourists. Our journey begins in Santa Maria del Tule, approximately 10 kilometers outside of the Oaxacan city center, and home to one really big and very old tree. The oldest in the world, it's over 2,000 years old, and we're gonna ride down this flat valley before heading up into the mountains. Tourism means different things to many people. Perhaps you seek out the relaxation of a beach or a spa, Maybe you prefer museums or art galleries. For Whitney, Zach and Kristen, a 6,000-foot, 1,800-meter climb into the welcoming mountains of the Sierra Norte provides a relaxing day on the bicycle. It just goes up from here, all the way to Benito Juarez, which is one of the first mountaintop villages. I think I've seen about 20 switchbacks, where maybe 15 to 25 to go. I think we're at 6-2 now, and I think the top is 10, so whatever the math is on that. The numbers are lower in meters, so I like hearing the meters more, but I think we've got 1.5 thousand meters left to climb in the next 20 miles. <laughs> Getting steeper, but cooler. Pass has no name. Did you know that the Sierra Norte is home to over 400 species of birds? Small villages dot the mountain sides of the Sierra Norte, and thankfully our guides Pedro, Carlos, and Luis saw fit to plan a hearty meal before the final push to Cuajimoloyas. Seven or nine kilometers left to our final destination. And apparently there's no descending. Is it heaven or is it Cuajimoloya? Cuajimoloya, located at 10,500 feet above sea level, is known for its Zapotec population. A very long bridge and an annual mushroom festival. After an evening of cards and mezcal, our bike sporters rested as well as possible for the days ahead. Day 2 So, shredding, senderos. We did a secret downhill trail that was, I would say, one half rideable. Did a bunch of dope roads, such as this. And no shortage of the climbing that these harsh and steep mountains require. 
Es Intermela, para los mosquitos. The Sierra Norte is the largest natural corridor of preserved forests and jungles in Mexico and is considered to be one of the most diverse biomes in the world. <laughs> Climate zones range from dry and warm to the dramatic cloud forest we find ourselves in today. The droplets are just one with the air. We did a bunch of shit. <laughs> It's damp, and now it's time for un cerveza. Maybe dos cervezas. <laughs> no vacation in Oaxaca will be complete without a taste or three of locally produced mezcal. Distilled from the many types of agave native to the region, mezcal is the official drink of Oaxaca, and over 90% of all mezcal is produced in the state. Relaxing in their mountainside caverns, warmed by mezcal and roaring fires, our American tourists dream of the Dia de Muertos festivities unfolding in the city below. Bombastic bandas, millions of marigolds, reverence and joy. During the festival, the spirits of the deceased are thought to revisit the land of the living, allowing families to celebrate and pay homage to their departed relatives. Day 3, our final ride in the Sierra Norte. Oh, hell yeah. That's 10 by feet. <laughs> our riders are met with clear skies and sunshine. Que hermoso día. What goes up must come down, and our route for the day descends to the north, ending on the banks of the Rio Grande. It starts supposed to be climbing, but I don't understand because we're at the top. Um, I heard the word single track for today. It's supposed to be easier than the single track that we did yesterday, but who knows? And then we just kind of send it down the mountain back into the valley. Zacotep's dude, they're good at climbing. They had to be. Very strong, very tough. Great cooks. Can't wait for lunch. Thank you for joining us on this vibrant and exciting experience of the roads of the Sierra Norte. A world between the agave and the clouds. With roads and trails to scratch the each of every cyclist. We will be back to the Sierra Norte and its gravel roads as soon as possible. And we hope to see you there. <laughs>